What is up you guys, this is JP, and in this video we're gonna talk about three of my biggest pet peeves. So for those of you who uh, get upset or offended from uh, people poking fun at certain things because hey, maybe you do it, um, I maybe you shouldn't watch this video. I don't think most of you will get upset, but again, some of you will get a little bit of defensive and maybe try to argue, well, there's a reason why you should do that. And who knows, maybe two, three years down the line, I'll find some reason to be doing some of this stuff and then I'll be the dumbass who put the video up about this topic, but as of right now, uh, these these three pet peeves that I'm going to name are authentically three things that kind of, I don't know if you've ever seen anything and they kind of make you want to turn your neck a little bit like that and, and it almost makes you want to grab the person doing the thing and fix it. Like, you know, but I, I, obviously you don't want to do that because then you'd probably uh, get into some sort of legal trouble. But, but anyways, there are three things that I see when I train uh, my own clients that obviously I correct quickly and swiftly um, but I also see other people in the gym do them and it just leaves me scratching my head because I feel like there's a, a, a lack of knowledge there on the part of the person doing these things now again I don't want to come off as elitist or I don't want to come off as all oh, of the know-it-all and when I even see these things I never say anything because I have a very uh, a big uh, I, it's a pet peeve of mine to be gym police which I should Maybe that'll be a bonus tip is don't don't be a gym police. Don't be going around giving unsolicited advice. And that actually is a very bad pet peeve of mine, but that's not solely gym related, which is why I didn't put it on here. But again, so don't do that. And I don't do that. But these are three pet peeves that kind of drive me crazy. So my first pet peeve is going to be standing dumbbell external rotations, okay? A lot of people do this exercise as either a warm up or they do this exercise for to, to challenge a rotator cuff. They're trying to work the rotator cuff. But what kind of boggles my mind, and I don't know why this exercise keeps being done, is that free weights or dumbbells, the line of resistance is always parallel with gravity. So it doesn't matter if it's a barbell or a dumbbell, the line of resistance is straight up and down. So when you're doing an, a standing dumbbell external rotation and you're holding it, uh, the, the dumbbell, what's actually being, being challenged is the biceps when in this position because your biceps have to isometrically contract to hold the dumbbell in this position. What's being challenged here in regards to the dumbbell is going to be its uh, elbow flexion. That's what's being challenged, not external rotation. You have to, when you're trying to challenge a muscle or a specific movement pattern of the body, you need to have the resistance going against whatever action you're trying to do. So if you're trying to challenge external rotation, you need to have a weight going against external rotation or trying to forcefully internally rotate you so you have to externally rotate against that load. So when you're doing this standing variation like this, you're not in any way challenging the external rotators or internal rotators. You're just kind of waving your arms like a like a damn bird and it's not actually even doing anything. It's not doing anything, period. It's, it's just lack of you know, knowledge of, you know, you know, gravity and dumbbells and free weights and understanding mechanics in general. So stop doing this exercise, do it the correct way. You could do the lying dumbbell external rotation, which again, simply shifting your body puts, you know, the line of resistance and the muscles that you're trying to challenge in, you know, the proper path. And so you're trying to, you know, actually do what your goal is to do in the first place is to work your external or internal rotators. So again, that's my first pet peeve. So just stop doing it. My second pet peeve is going to be uh, getting full hip extension on uh, any type of hip thrust or glute bridge. Now, this isn't so much of a, a you know, right or wrong thing, because even though there's a lot of truth in these pet peeves of mine, this one is, I guess you could say it has a lot more of a case that someone could argue against for me. Like for example, I could even play devil's advocate and say that, you know, when the hips get fully extended, force output drops off and you, you know, you kind of, you can't tailor the load to the weakest part of the movement, which is probably going to be at peak contraction. It's going to be very hard for your glutes and your hamstrings to contract when they're, you know, fully shortened because it, again, there's not that many, uh, not as much active myosin acting cross bridges compared to when the muscles in its mid point range of motion. 
Um, so I could even make a case against what I'm trying to say here, but something in my head just feels like it cracks and snaps and I feel like it's almost like when you're watching one of those videos where you're, you're, it's almost like those videos that make you happy. Maybe a chef is chopping up something real neat. It's like those neat, satisfying videos. This is like the opposite of that. When I see people not getting their hips fully extended, it just makes me want to flip. I said, get your hips up. <laughs> I don't know why I don't ever say anything I don't look at the person doing it but I don't know why. it's something about getting their fucking hips up that just drives me nuts I don't know why maybe it's because it's not an even line with their shoulders and knee I don't know why but just I always get my hips up it's a pet peeve thing of mine and I always train people to just get your hips fully locked out and extended because yeah it just it makes me want to go absolutely nuts and I, I, I can't take it okay so just stop doing that um, my third pet peeve and my final pet peeve is with the tricep exercises for some reason, I don't know if this is like for the people who just don't know how to dance. I mean, I'm not the best dancer either, but uh, for some reason, when people do tricep exercises, specifically tricep exercises where your upper arm is tight to your body, and even tricep exercises where your arm is away from your body and you know, you're know you kind of lengthening the triceps out up here, uh, people struggle to keep their arms tight to their body when they're doing a tricep exercise. If you're trying to work the triceps, you want to challenge elbow extension, okay? So when you're doing, for example, a cable tricep pushdown, you want to keep your arms tight to your body. If you're moving your arms up and down like this and you're not really bending your elbow and extending your elbow through a full range of motion, you're not challenging triceps. If you're extending the upper arm or the humerus at the shoulder behind the body, you're now turning this to a lat movement. It's no longer a triceps movement primarily. And someone may argue that the triceps do aid in uh, extension of the shoulder, and they do. Um, because again, the, I think the long head does cross the shoulder joint, then in that sense, yes, a little bit, but primarily the triceps are not active when it comes to straight arm pull downs. So again, get your upper arm tight to the sides of your body and do not move your upper arm. If you have to have someone just shove your upper arm next to your upper body or just uh, better yet, you could probably go to Home Depot, buy some extra strong super glue and just super glue the side of your arm and your body and just pin it there and then just stop moving it. And then from there, you just challenge elbow extension and then you'll work your triceps. If your arm's doing this the entire time and there's barely any you know, elbow flexion extension going on, you're not doing anything for the triceps. You're just moving your arms around and it's just, you're trying to force someone to kind of keep it there. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. I don't know why, for some reason, even people that I see do this and that I train always have trouble, you know, trying to get this down. I, it might be a dancing thing. It might be something that's just, uh, uh, it, it's just like maybe like a proprioceptive thing that they kind of can't grasp where their arms at in relation to the body. I don't know. Regardless, I'm not trying to be insensitive. This is like a funny pet peeve video, but it just, it drives me nuts. And you know, you're just gonna kind of have to force it, but uh, just, you know, try to fix that just at least when you're around me so I don't rip my hair out. But if you guys have any questions about these pet peeves, uh, let me know down in the comments below or you guys can uh, write in the comments some of your gym pet peeps and what drives you nuts. Uh, and then, yep, and then I'll read all those comments. So leave those down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.